Mocking the icon. <laughs> that was funny. A wild main event for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. A tornado match. Big Bill and Absolute Ricky Starks looking to fend off the challenge of Darby Allen and Sting! And Sting the splash on Big Bill! Meanwhile, oh my God, what a shot. Holy smite, he just absorbed that big splash. And meanwhile, inside the ring though, Darby Allen landing a massive drop kick on Absolute Ricky Starks. And fans, while we have a moment to breathe here, I want to tell Tony Khan has just signed a big tag team match this Saturday at Collision. John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli of the Black Hole Combat Club. Oh, wait a second. Darby. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Unbelievable! Oh, that's worth looking at again. Holy smokes. My God. Here it is, Taz. Yeah, you're not kidding. This is just pure power and in, man, it's crazy intense landing. Wow. Whoa. Well, as I was about to say, this Saturday on Collision, 8, 7 Central on TNT, John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli of the Blackpool Combat Club taking on Star Jr. Esfije, the man in the gold mask from the CML contingent. They had words, they had they had an interaction with the Blackpool Combat Club earlier tonight, so it will be a tag team match this Saturday night live on Collision. International title match, a big one as well as Orange Cassidy defends against Ishii, and that is coming up. It's building up to be a great collision in Las Vegas during Big Game Weekend. We're coming live on Saturday on TNT. But Tony, speaking of that, what? An AEW World Tag Team Championship title match. We are watching unfold. Ricky Starks, Big Bill, they've defended their titles three times already. Could they do it for a fourth? And could they be the first, maybe the only blemish on the record of Sting and Darby Allen? Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. But well, right now, the champions are looking good. Big Bill. And let's not forget, we're going to stay with this match as long as it takes. Oh, God. Look at Bill. Oh my God! Busting up Darby. <laughs> now just, just throttling, unbouncing his head off the man. God, he's a man among men. Violent too. Oh my God, it's just pure power. <laughs> he ragdolled him. That's what he did. Oh, Big Bill. He and Starks have isolated Darby Allen. It all started with the, the biggest boss man slam I have ever seen. And that was only the beginning of the punishment for Darby Allen. And that right cross to Sting's jaw put Sting down. Sting is trying, I'm looking at the, to my left to try to get back in the ring, but he's still not in. Yeah, now Big Bill getting himself a table here. The table looks like a little kitty table next to him. Looks like a baby table. Yeah, it does. Giant man wearing mint green Tim's. It's a tough getting beat up by a guy with mint green boots. And who's gonna tell him it looks bad? To us? Oh, I think they look great. I wouldn't tell them. You think they're crazy? Yes. Oh, brother. Table set up at ringside. Sting on the apron, but both Sting yeah. and Darby Allen, the challengers, feeling the. Oh, Stalks is directing traffic at yeah, I think he was calling for a press slam here, wasn't he? Yep. Yeah. Certainly seems to be. Oh, stinks and it starts into Bill. Darby saved the day there, boys. Where did he ever? Darby narrowly averting disaster. A sting. Big right hands. The back hands. Takes Starks down. Oh, big Bill, though. Look at that. The hand. Oh, no. Wrapped around the throat of the icon. And that table is right below Sting. Yes. Oh! Well, Sting dodges out of the way. Go for the ride. It's not a good one. And, oh, wait, Ricky Starks. Look at Starks. Oh, Scorpion. Dot drop. Oh, no, look at this. Ricky's got it. One, two. No, Darby there to break it up. Great save by Darby Allen. Man, but Starks was so close. And now Starks and Darby. Oh, I was going to say, they're going punch to punch. Darby got the better of them there for a second. You're talking about two guys who have had problems with each other in the past. Darby Allen and Ricky Starks. Oh, wow. 
nice landing on the ankle there. Stalks might have buckled his ankle. And there's the match we were talking about this Saturday on Collision. What a hot landing. But right now, Darby. Pop a splash in that corner. Stinger splash! Oh, here comes Darby. And here comes Sting. Sting and Darby, they know how tough Big Bill is. It's not going to take one shot to drop him. That was impressive by Dom. Dobby's not done, guys. Oh, this is where Dobby loves it. Coffin drop. In the ring here. Yeah. His back was turned. Sting's back was turned. And Stalk got him. Missed the drop kick, though. On oh, the drop kick. And now Sting. The Scorpion Deathlock. If he turns it, Stalks might be done. Might have new champions. But look at this. Big Bill is carrying Darby Allen as Ricky Starks. Trying. He's trying to step across the top rope with Darby on his back. Look at, uh, Darby guards in the eyes of Big Bill. Oh, God. Oh. Driven through the table. Ricky's close. And he made it. There's no rope break. It's tornado tag. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's exactly what Bryce is telling. Ref, the referee, exactly. The referee Bryce Rensburg is telling Starks it don't matter. Oh, and Starks, he was able to pull his body Far enough under the ropes that, that Sting lost his grip. Both Big Bill and Dobby landed really bad through that table, especially Big Bill. As we said, don't forget. Oh, oh the buckle! He moved the buckle pad out the way. We're gonna take it as long as we can. The take Sting it the splash in the corner, but the sternum of Sting collided with the buckle. And Ricky Starks, he said, he said he was gonna end the curve. Oh, oh, no, no. oh, look, he, he's having second. Yeah, he yes, almost he doesn't is. want to do it. He knows he's got Sting dead to rights. Oh, wait Stark. a minute. Oh, he's got oh, him. Ricky has got him. Oh. No! I don't blame Ricky. For a second, he had second. He didn't want to do it. But then once he saw Sting g up, he's like, the hell with this. I got to win this match and defend my title. So close to ending the undefeated run of Sting and Darby Allen. The respect for Sting is universal, not just in the AW locker room. It is, res it is universal around the world. Ricky Starks is no exception. But, Taz, you hit it. This is about the AW World Tag Team Championship. It's close. Uh oh He caught the, he caught the spear on top. He has won throughout his enormous, incredible, wonderful career. This may be the most satisfying. And Taz, did you catch the, the facial expression on Sting's stunts? They never yeah. doubted their father for a second. No, no, they know him. They get it. Man, what an amazing turn of events. We got new tag team champions, Dolby Allen and Sting. And, but Sting's fixing to retire. Like, what the hell? All credit. To Big Bill and Absolute Ricky no Starks. Question. No They're question. Great champions. They've done great. Sting over to help Darby Allen up, but hand him his gold. For God's sakes, he deserves it. And now for the first time, look at Sting waving, waving to his sons. Come in the ring, share this moment with me. You see, Ricky's disappointed in what happened there. I mean, it happens. That's the, the great timing of a great legendary veteran like Sting. And his sons are highly impressed. Yeah, what well, they moment. should be. Taz, Excalibur, what a moment this is. Uh, amazing. There you go. He's got gold again. What a career. What a run in AW. Between singles and tag team championship, Sting has been a champion two dozen times. And now... 25th title, a 25th championship to his already legendary career. The undefeated whoa, 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 whoa. Sting Command God. Oh, oh mom, what the hell? That's Matt and Nick Jackson. The Young Bucks. Well, that's, those are his sons for crying out loud. They're not wrestlers. Oh, my. Matthew what and Nicholas, what the hell are they doing here? These are civilians and Sting's sons. And these, these bad 
match in hand. Just completely upstaging this moment. This is despicable. Completely, look at that. Completely upstaging. Hell, they're beating the hell out of people. Stole the spotlight and putting the beat down oh. on the brand new tag team champions. Darby oh, is split what? open, by the way. And that, that is Darby's blood all over that oh, white God. jacket. I've never seen this kind of violence out of Matthew and Nicholas Jackson here, which they like to be called now, a.k.a. the Young Bucks are just wearing out the brand new tag team champions. They are the worst. I don't give a damn if they are EVPs of this company. They're the worst. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Yeah, you can put that PG trigger on a man. No, Tony, Tony. Matt, Matthew, he called me into his office earlier today. Oh, brother. He said, very pointedly, it's no longer the BTE trigger. It's the EVP trigger. Oh, I, the EVP trigger. I had no... Wow, look at this. They are just... This was... Just a hit. Now they're going to put Sting... Oh, watch out! Oh, no. God! A completely premeditated assault oh. by Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. And who can stop these guys? These guys are their bosses, they're MVPs, and they're, they're just wearing everybody out here. Oh my god. Just a running punt to the head of one half of the AW World Tag Team Champions. This is the worst, worst I've ever seen. And I've Look seen a lot of things here at AEW. Look at this violent attack by Matthew Jackson. And Darby just leaking blood all over the suit. So th these are EVPs, right? And th these are two men that clearly believe they're above the law. Yeah, bullshit. This is... Thank you, Tony. Thank you. This is... Now they got the belts. Despicable. Wow. Utterly despicable. The Young Bucks, like it or not, made a heavy statement right now. Not. AW Dynamite back live on TBS. Who will face Samoa Joe for the AW World Championship at Revolution? Will it be Swerve Strickland or will it be Hangman Adam Page? That straight kick found its mark on both ends. And as I just said, there you see at the bottom of your screen, this is what is at stake. A shot at Samoa Joe, the AW World Championship. Both men with the same idea, both men going down. Yeah, you have to assume whichever athlete can get to a vertical base first could potentially have the advantage in this battle. So they're both down. And fans, during our picture and picture break, we saw Hangman Adam Page opt not for a count out victory, Taz, but to pull a table from underneath the ring in order to inflict more punishment on Swerve. Correct. Not sure what he has in mind for that or what's going to happen, if any. Hangman first to his feet, Swerve still on the mat. Can Hangman press this advantage? A lot of sting in those punches this late in the match by, right, by Hangman so Page there. You can see when it gets late in the match, you see a guy still has mustard behind his strikes. That's impressive to me. And Swerve imploring Hangman, pour it on. Yeah, he even got a kind of a little wry smile to his face, which I, I don't agree with at all, but I mean, look at this, he's laughing out loud. Those shots are connecting. Oh, well, Hangman, he, he got rocked by that one. You saw how his hands dropped to his side after the first one connected. Hangman trying to create distance, the high boot. Fox Swerve weaves under, leads into the backbreaker. Great job, they might get him. Swerve covers. Hangman firing that right shoulder off the mat. He just rolled out of the way, basically, after firing that right shoulder out. That was an excellent transition by Swerve. Almost got him. Thinking back to their first match at Wrestle Dream this past October, then how how, how this this rivalry, this this this, this, uh, this hatred between these two men escalated at full gear, and now a shot at Samoa Joe and the AEW World Championship. Hangman, whoa, whoa, whoa. the balance is Hangman. His ankle caught underneath the top rope. Oh my God, he's stuck there. He's like in a bear trap. Oh, you got to be careful, Strickland here. 
He might be thinking, stomp. Oh, God, Hangman's in trouble. Swerve! Stomp! Hangman, nowhere to go! That could put a lot of pressure on the knees, right, Taz? Yeah, oh. definitely in the weight of Hangman. He was trying to get out of the way. Table collapsed. It happens. I mean, he's, he's not a, uh, you know, he's not a little guy, Hangman. Stuff happens. A swerve undeterred. Looking under the rings, looking for something else to inflict. On, and oh, we just heard Chris Nana say, right here, boss. Yeah, he's it off. And look at Nana get the attention now of the referee. That makes me wonder, while all the action was going on around the arena, was, was Nana looking for things under the ring? Was he looking for oh, that, something to give Swerve an advantage? It could be. That's what makes Nana awesome at what he does, man. He's on the outside while you're in there having your match. He's checking out the playing field, making sure what's going on, what's around, what he could use. That's smart to help his guy in Strickland. Good job by Prince Nana. Hangman returned to the ring by Swerve. The count broken as Hangman down flat on his back. Swerve Strickland to the top. Fork him all the knees are up. Oh, he's Hangman. got him. He's got that leg. He's got him. Two. Out. A great job by Hangman that time, and I thought he'd won it, Taz. Yeah, me too. I thought he had him all that time. Five minutes was looking for another. Oh, J Justin Roberts getting a five-minute call. We, we must have been last 25 minutes. It feels barely like like 10 have passed. But while Swerve was looking for that second table underneath the ring, Hangman used that time to recover, and he avoided that 450. Now looking for the dead eye. Hangman. Set over the top, and he's got the grip on that top rope. Skins the cat back into the ring. Bang! Lariat! He's, he's not done. He's not done. Uh, here it comes. Hangman is not done. Strickland's in trouble. Bop! Shot! Lariat! Forget about it. He's done. We will see what revolution happens. No! The foot! The foot! Second time in this match, Strickland has shown... Great ring awareness. Yeah, tremendous situational awareness by, by Swerve Strickland. But look at this buckshot lariat. Impact is insane. There was no chance Swerve was going to kick out. The only thing that saved him was that bottom rope. Yeah, it's got to be your ally, Shivani. you got to do that. If you recall, Prince Nada did interfere, interfere in the previous match. And that's what he's getting accused of here by Hangman on a page. That man just got to stay focused right now on Swerve. He's got him hurt. Hangman thinking dead eye on the apron. Oh, oh my it. God. Not just thinking, doing, hitting the dead eye. And Strickland don't look good there, guys. He looks, you can see it. Hangman just gestured at referee Paul Turner. Start the count. Yeah, he said count him out is what he said. And here we go. And Nana, I mean, he's in full sight of the referee. He's trying to motivate, doing anything he can to motivate Swerve. I've never seen nothing like this. Me neither. That's some wild stuff right there. Nana's a wild man. What the hell? Paul Turner up to eight. Nine. Nine. One more, we got a winner. And Swerve off. Oh, just oh, the hangman. <laughs> Good job by Hangman. Yeah, it was. You're going to have to keep on dancing, Nana. Oh, man, he's going to run him out here. Nobody down. Hangman. Oh! Oh! No more dancing. No more dancing. Well, Hangman remembers how that match at Wrestle Dream ended. Oh! He was making sure Nana doesn't interfere again with that one. And he ate that chair. Oh, good job by Strickland. Prince Nana taken out of play. Swerve Strickland taking advantage. And now Swerve to the top. Swerve! Stop! Oh, but he came down awkwardly on the ankle. Buckled it. Oh, Buckled no. Buckled that ankle. That'll oh, happen. No. This delay in the cover, if he even can cover. Well, now the Hangman's on all fours. Oh, but Swerve, he is not moving right after coming down on that stop. Look for this JML driver. No, Hangman reverses. Oh! Snapping at the ankle. 
Talk about a guy who's paying attention, even though he's in pain and gassed right now. And Hangman, he saw and realized Swerve buckled the ankle, Shivani, and he gunned in after it. Absolutely more than just fighting Cowboy Taz. He has great ring awareness. He knows what he's doing. He really does. And now Hangman eyeing the second table, the one that Swerve set up on the outside. Oh, is he thinking Dragon Scr No! Swerve on desperation. Oof. Oh, he's going dead eye. What the hell? Strickland's got him set up. Can, can, he, go can he do it with his hand? Oh! Oh! What the? My God. Good God. What Eat. impact. Oh, my God. Even with the injured ankle, Swerve the dead eye through the table. You're not kidding. And instead, Swerve not electing for the cover. He wants a third Swerve stomp on Hangman. He wants to leave, no question. It's got, it's still, man, I don't know, that stomp with the ankle. Yeah, you saw he, he clutched that left ankle right there. Swerve stomp. Oh, oh, and he collapsed oh immediately. God, all of his weight right on that, right on that ankle, the left ankle. The epitome of a high risk maneuver right there, guys, because of the ankle. And Hangman, get yourself an ankle lock on that thing and get this cat to submit. Anything, a heel hook, something. Oh, he's going buckshot. He's going buckshot. Buckshot, no. Swerve. Here it is. Jack Driver. Oh, my God. He's hurting, though. He can't cover. Every he second that goes by. Come on. What do we got? The bell sounded. Ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired. This match is a draw. Wow. Oh, man. A 30-minute time limit draw. Man, I'll tell you what, I'd love to see a winner, too, but that was an awesome 30 minutes. But now, I mean, the, the question that immediately comes to mind in that last possible second, could Hangman Page have kicked out or not? No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 I didn't go through all this stand like this. Hey, man, I'm not letting you get away with this that easy. You know how this goes. <laughs> Five four minutes. When the clock expired, Swerve Strickland had the advantage. Hangman Page can barely pull himself upright. Oh, look at that smile, Hangman. I think he wants five more minutes too, Taz. Yeah, he does, but... Swerve! Swerve! <laughs> Swerve! Tonight, you had to beat me to become the number one contender. And, and Swerve, you didn't do it. You will not be the world champion for you. It is over. Wow. I stand corrected. Hang on, Adam Page. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Uh, what? What's going on? Hang on one minute. Hang on one minute. Just one second. Hang hey, man, if you will stop right here. Hang on. I got it. All right. I got it. I'm, Tony Khan has just talked with me. This is not done. Because... We now have two number one contenders. And that means at Revolution, there will be a three-way match for the world title against Samoa Joe. He didn't beat me. He didn't beat me. That's right. Three-way, Swerve, Hangman, and the world champion, Samoa Joe. Wow. He didn't beat me. He didn't beat me.
That's huge. Massive announcement. Swerve, Hangman, and Samoa Joe, and Hangman Adam Page is apoplectic. Welcome back to AEW Dynamite live on TBS. Timeless Tony Storm, the AEW Women's World Champion, trying to fend off an Eliminator Challenge from Red Velvet. If Velvet wins this match, she will have the first title shot at whoever leaves Revolution as AEW World, Women's World Champion, whether it's Timeless Tony Storm or the woman joining us at the desk, Deanna Prazo. Yeah, you don't want to trade hands with Velvet. She can throw it. And there you see the match is official for Revolution Sunday, March 3rd. Greensboro, North Carolina, live on pay-per-view. Tony Storm, Deanna Perrazzo, but Deanna Velvet put together a nice series here. I have felt that series before, and she's game. She's bringing her A game. This is maybe the biggest opportunity Red Velvet has had this far. Yeah, Velvet is looking great right now. Big time bulldog there by Velvet. Velvet gesturing for the watch, saying it's time to stir it up. As Velvet comes in, knees to the back of the head. Tony Storm is rocked. And Velvet standing on salt press. The far leg is hooked, and Tony Storm late kick out there. Getting a little frustrated right there is Velvet. She's got to keep her poise here if possible. Yeah, yeah. Deanna, this is where poise, composure kicks in for Velvet. Absolutely. Tony Storm trying to pull herself up in the corner. Velvet closes the disc. Oh, nice trip by Tony Storm. Very subtle, but Betty got the job done. Oh, oh the hip attack. Oh, oh, oh. Whiplash. Man, you got to try to avoid that, Deanna. The DDT. One, two, and oh, Velvet. Ooh. Wow. How about that? Just kind of rolled over to her left. You pop the shoulder up. Impressive right there. A kick out doesn't have to be explosive. Right. Just got to get one of those shoulders off the mat. And Velvet, it was not an emphatic kick out, but it was a kick out. She remains alive in this Eliminator match, but she seems to have miffed, so to speak, our AEW Women's World Champion. She tried to a lot more. She told Tony, oh, Tony Ooh. Storm. Oh, oh, roll up now. That was a quick counter there. She told Tony Storm, come on, get some more. A kick to the knee, Velvet. Oh, what for that corkscrew kick? Missed it. And oh. look, look at this, Tony Storm okay. wrenching. Wrenching on the. <laughs> Is she looking at me? She's looking right at you. She... Uh, really? Okay. Uh, got that ankle lock in tight. Oh, she just uh, got to go. Made it just, tighter. And Red Velvet forced to tap out. Oh, right. Is she? Is she, uh, you, you Is she gonna let it go? Re Aubrey Edwards you demanding. She's not. Wait a minute, well, Deanna. Deanna just took off the headset. Sending a message to Deanna. Deanna, Deanna Brasso hits the ring. Has accepted that message. And you know, earlier today, I heard Mariah May pass Red Velvet in the hallway. She said, break the leg, darling. Ah. And I think Tony Storm trying to... Oh, look at Luther getting... Luther's upset that Deanna would even attempt to lay a finger on, on Thomas Tony Storm. Yeah, but he, he's on the run. He's going to check on Tony. Well, there's the match for Revolution. Thomas Tony Storm, Deanna Brazo for the AEW Women's World Championship. But right now, let's go to the back. And our colleague, the remarkable Renee Paquette. Now Jericho Lynn hot in that Whoa. buckle, and he eats a boot. I'm sorry, Takeshi eats the boot. And Jericho, drop kick, caught Takeshi square in the chest. I like Jericho coming off the turnbuckles, huh? Not yeah. afraid to go up high. Uh, Chris has, uh, he has no fear. No, uh, you, you can't, Taz. I mean, obviously, am I right? You can't have any fear. You can't if you go have in the fear. Ring. You can't have fear in the ring, at the desk, backstage, anywhere. You go on a plane. You gotta be, you gotta be tough at yeah. all times. Listen, I know you're scared of no man. I know no that. One. No one. Chris Jericho is like one of those decals he used to see on a pickup truck about 15 years ago. That's why you're the announcer of the year, man. Right there, that statement. You know what? Go to hell, Shane. <laughs> oh, elbows exchanged. Chris Jericho, Konosuke Takeshita, the Ocho, the Alpha, battling it out, tooth and nail, live here on TBS on Dynamite. Oh, to the throat. 
Almost to the eyes. I think maybe he punched him in the eyes that time. Gouged him. As Takeshita, the fireman's carry sits out. Flattens Jericho. And now Takeshita. Oh, man. Did you see him? Oh, man. His head at the ropes. And, oh, Takeshita, he, he was shot in Bakatare. That's the, the signature move of Naruki Doi, who Takeshita defeated just 10 days ago. And now Takeshita over the top. What a match we are witnessing. What an announcement. The blockbuster announcement from Tony Khan just moments ago. Big business in Boston. Five weeks from tonight, tickets available. This Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern, Ticketmaster.com. Yeah, I can't wait for that. TD Garden, great venue, great wrestling town Boston is. Watch Takeshita here on the top. Up to the top. Oh, Jericho got that knees up on the senton. Got a little too, little too cocky just to catch you. You can't do that with a legendary athlete like a Chris Jericho. Jericho. The lion saw it, but Takeshita likewise got the knees up, Tony. Yeah, the lion saw it. He thought he had it, but maybe wasted some time getting to the point of attack, and that's by hitting the ropes that time. But that's one of his premier moves, one of his trademarks. And Takeshita anticipated, countered it. Starting to chant Jericho's name here. We're right here in Phoenix. They're trying to get behind Jericho. Don Callis not happy hearing that. And Takeshita rising to his feet, battering Jericho. But Jericho firing back instead of the elbows. He was going with the right hands. Takeshita, no, no. Jericho rolls him up. Steps around. Uh-oh. Can we think of walls? Takeshita counters. One, two. Jericho kicking out, but Takeshita maintaining control. The head of Jericho now up in the fireman's carry once again. Oh, oh, oh Takeshita oh lost him a little bit there. Sat out with it and oh, the strength! My God! <laughs> Very impressive, hard to do. Boy, the fans were right behind that one, man. They appreciated that. I mean, his whole body was underneath Chris. Still hard to do to, to really turn your opponent over like that. All that weight is in the air, Shivani. Yeah, absolutely it is. But uh, anyway, the strength of, and you know, we talked about technique earlier, but the strength too there, Taz. Yeah, yeah. big time power for uh, sure. That's the type of power we're used to seeing out of Claudio Castagnoli. Right. Oh, Takeshita stripped off the elbow pad. Landed a solid shot on the jaw of Jericho. Ooh. Ducks the back. Oh, the Takeshita line uh -oh. countered with the code breaker. And he walked, ran, I should say, right into that, did Takeshita. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 the far leg hooked in. Takeshita barely kicking out. What a battle these two men are having. Well, Chris has been in many, many battles. Takeshita, as we know, has as well. I mean, think about... The one-week stretch Takeshita had from, from all in London to all out, Tony. He he pinned Kenny Omega twice in the twice. span of a week. Absolutely he did. That's insane. I don't know if many people can say that, if any, before Takeshita. Jericho driving Takeshita face first to the mat. Could be thinking Lion Salt once again. Oh, no, Takeshita springs up. Blue Thunder Bomb! Whoa! Just missed. Don Callis is livid at ringside. But Callis has to know better than anybody. He had the friendship with Jericho. He has to know just how tough sure. the Ocho is. Sure, absolutely. Takeshita looking for the knee. Jericho blocked. Judas effect blocked by Takeshita. Oh, the knee connects. Oh, but Jer just a straight oh right hand. Damn nib. <laughs> just busted his cheek open with oh. that slap. Just manhandling back to the corner. And Jericho could be thinking the Horicon Rana off the ropes. Chris Jericho up to the top. Right hands trying to soften up to catch. Oh, to catch the slips. Damn. And Jericho went down hard. Oh, brother. Oh, what does Takeshita have in store here? Jericho is in grave danger here. Takeshita. Avalanche! Blue Thunder Bomb! <laughs> and Jer Jericho's head whiplashed yes. on that landing. He Takeshita covers! And Jer oh, now it was Jericho's turn to just barely kick out. Let's take a look at this. Who's done the bomb off the ropes here? I mean, watch Chris's head, folks. 
His head really bounces bad. That's no. a tough one. Inside the ring, Takeshita connects the power drive knee. He drops the knee pad. He's looking for the Wagamama. Jericho is out on his feet. No, the jo no Jericho counters. Jericho anticipated now. The walls. The walls of Jericho locked in. Oh, Callis, what's oh, he going to do? Come on. Oh, the referee oh. sees that chair. Yeah, he saw the chair. He baited it. He the ref has no choice. With the counter. Oh, my God. Callis just... I didn't see what he had, but he cropped it with a that screw screwdriver. Screwdriver, it looked like. We've seen him wield the screwdriver before. And look at now, Takesha. He's looking to humiliate Jericho. Oh, no. The walls locked in after Jericho got out with that oh. screwdriver. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Two. With his own hold. Oh, this is in. No, Jericho's not out of this one. Chris Jericho's not in a comeback here. Oh, wait, Takesha oh. drags him towards center. And Sit down on this side. With his own hold. The Alpha Kanosuke to Kesta. I have never seen anyone beat Chris Jericho with the walls or with the lion tail. Me neither. I mean, I was so impressive. This guy, Takesh, is just. That's just so many people, so impressive. Yeah, two wins over former world champions by Takeshita here at AEW. How many just, people can say that? Ah, not many. That's, I mean, I don't know what to say. That's a, that's really impressive. And a incredible close. victory by Takeshita. It's still to come our main event. Sting and Darby Allen, the tornado match for the AEW World Tag Team Championship against Big Bill and absolute Ricky Sarge. And fans, to celebrate Puppy Bowl, TBS's new original series, Stupid Petrick, some of the stars of AEW visited a local animal shelter. Check it out and watch Stupid Petrick's a reimagining of the iconic segment from The Late Show with David Letterman, now hosted by Sarah Sel Silverman, premieres February 8th, or February 11th, after Puppy Bowl on TBS, Animal Planet Discovery, and True TV.